This video is gonna cover how to assign pads on your physical MIDI controller to the pads within the MPC Beat software. Check it out. What's up, my name is Matthew Stratton. On this channel, I'll do videos to help you set up your gear. You know, I do tutorials on how to make music and record music, so if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. On more than one occasion, I have been asked how to line up the pads on a physical MIDI controller with the pads within the MPC Beat software, so this is gonna help clear up some things, I hope. So I'm gonna show you how to do this on the MPD32 MIDI controller. Now, it doesn't really matter what MIDI controller you're using, but I'm using the MPD32. This is like an outdated MIDI controller, right? They don't even sell this anymore, but if you were curious about the new ones, I'll leave a link in the description for the new MPDs. But I figure if it's not broke, don't fix it. So let's go ahead and get in here. Maybe you have a MIDI controller laying around that you wanna use. So I loaded up a demo. Now I'm gonna hit the pads, let's see what happens. All right, nothing's happening. But if you look at the top of the screen here where it says in, it does show that MIDI is being received. So I know that my MIDI controller is connected properly. So there could be a few reasons why this isn't working. So I'm gonna show you something here. Let's go over to the menu, go to edit, and then go to preferences. Once in the preferences, go to MIDI sync. Now, right here, first thing to do is to turn this on where it says track. So I'm gonna click that. Okay, so instantly it starts working, right? So that's working there. Now let's go ahead and hit okay. And then let's go to a different track. And then let's go ahead and load up one of these instruments from the F9 instrument expansion. I wanna pick this warm pad right here. So I just wanna double click that, it's gonna load it up onto that track, okay. So what I wanna show you is that I am hitting the pads and it appears to be working, right? But if I put this where it says notes onto chords, the pads should be actually triggering chords, okay? But they're not actually triggering chords. And you might be running into this issue, so I wanna show you how you can actually remedy this so your pads actually trigger the chords in pad perform. So if you go over to your menu again, go to edit, go to preferences, go to MIDI sync, press control. So if you press control, that's gonna enable your pads to be able to go into learn mode so you can actually assign your pads on your physical controller to the pads within the software. So once you turn control on, press OK. OK, there's no apparent change at the moment, but let me show you something. If you click down here where it says MIDI Learn, you can actually see this area where it says Pads, OK? And then this is where we actually can assign our pads. So if you have a MIDI controller that already has a preset in here, you just need to select your preset. I'm going to show you how to do it where if you don't have a preset in here, you can do it, right? So I made this new mini map, this mini map 10. So I went to this little menu, push new mini map. And when I did that, it created a new mini map. So that's what you're gonna need to do is click right here, press new mini map, and then enable your mini map. So once you enable your mini map, you're gonna be able to assign these blank pads within the software to the pads on your controller. Let me show you what I mean. If we press learn, you can see how all this stuff starts to highlight. So right here is this pad in the corner here. So, um, you know, this is actually considered pad one. So the bottom left is pad one and the top right is pad 16. So let's pick pad one in the software and then push pad one on the controller, okay? And when I did that, it assigned the MIDI CC value that is on here to the software. So whenever I push learn, click the pad in the software, and then touch the pad on my physical controller, it assigned that particular value, okay? And in this case, it's a note. It's gonna be a MIDI note. And then whenever I go ahead and select the next pad, which is pad two in the software, I'm gonna press pad two on my physical controller, okay? And I wanna keep going in this fashion one by one.
Okay, so now all the pads on my MIDI controller are assigned to a pad within the software. And if you look over to the right here, you can see all the different pads that are assigned and then the different values right here. Okay, and then what channel they're on, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and click learn off. So when you're done with this, you turn learn off. This way when you hit a pad again, it's not gonna reassign it to anything. Now I should be able to hear chords. So let's try this. You hear that? Mission accomplished, right? The pads are assigned. So let's go ahead and turn off enable and see what happens. Okay, so I turned off enable. I wanna hit the pad. Okay, now the pads on my controller are not actually assigned to the pads in the software. So whenever I hit the pad, it's not actually hitting, you know, the chords that I want to hit within the software, within pad perform. But if I enable it, since the pads are assigned, so the pads on the physical controller are assigned to the pads within the software. Whenever I push the pads on the controller now, it's basically like clicking the pad in the software now. Okay. And then I can change, you know, all the different things you could change. I could change the root note. Okay. I can change the octave. Right. Um, you know. I could change the chord, so if I want a more complex chord, I can do that, right? And now I have access to the entirety of Pad Perform, you know, and I can even put this on notes mode. And be able to play notes mode with the pads on the physical controller, and then, um, you know, I can actually push record on here and then it will record them into the software. All right. And then these pads will actually line up with the pads and drum programs as well. And then check this out. In a previous video, I went over setting up your transport controls. So if you check this out, I can actually hit record here and it's going to turn on overdub inside the software and I can hit play and it's going to push play start in the software. So check it. Right. So if you have a general MIDI controller and you want to learn how to set up your transport controls, I'll leave that in the video right here. So go ahead and click or tap the screen right there to learn how to set up your transport controls with NPC Beats. I'm going to put all these videos in a playlist. So go ahead and click or tap the screen over here for more videos about setting up MIDI controllers with NPC Beats. My name is Matthew. Continue creating music and we'll talk soon. Peace out.